Hi everyone, NA1SA here. I receive uh, a few emails asking about how I control my Doppler correction on the 9700 using uh, just the Doppler SQF files in SAT PC32. So I'll uh, take a few minutes here and uh, make a video and show you how I control uh, my Doppler correction for satellites uh, using the Doppler SQF files instead of using RIT or the subband. Alright, assuming most of you know what a Doppler SQF file is, uh, but for those of you that don't, this is what uh, Doppler SQF files look like. As you can see, there's multiple lines there for one satellite. Um, what I'm looking at here is XW2A. Uh, you can see I start at 435.040. Which should be the center frequency for the satellite but I found uh, in order to get zero beat on the satellite that means we're uh, when you transmit up what you receive coming down sounds pretty natural or very close to what you sound like uh, in person so I have to use one of these other lines of S Doppler SQF to get myself centered on frequency when the birds passing over um, the way the lines are set up, uh, the, it's a satellite by name, the downlink frequency, the uplink frequency, the downlink mode, which is upper sideband, and the uplink mode, which is lower sideband, and you have an option between normal and reverse, and most of all these are in the reverse. These lines have to be exact, um, as they show you in, in the SAT PC32 program. So where there's a comma and a zero and a comma and a zero, they have to be there. The satellite name has to be exactly like it's entered into SAT PC32, or what you get from your Keplerian data, like your NASA Bayer files. Otherwise, it will not work. So this information has to be correct. It's very simple to do these lines. Uh, once you work with a satellite, you discover whether you need to go up in frequency or low in frequency. Uh, you'll see each of these are separated by 5KC. So at the lowest frequency is 435.038.35. Next is dot four zero. Dot four five dot five zero and so on. To do this is is very simple. It's just basically a copy and paste. You can copy a line of Doppler SQF. Uh, let me get down here where you can see it. There we go. Uh, you want to copy a line, and we're just right click copy, hit return, move your lines of data down. Paste that, that SQF file and you'll see it's uh, .35 and .35. Just change this number to .30 and save it. They are a little time consuming uh, to where in you figure out where your zero beat. I like to go 10, 15 lines of Doppler each way above and below that frequency. And once you have those all established and saved, and I think you can save up to 100 lines of Doppler SQF per satellite. So uh, let's look at AO7. Uh, we'll go up here to the top. AO7 is a satellite that tends to drift in frequency quite a bit. It's old. It's been up there for a while, and with use, uh, it heats up, cools down, what have you, and it will drift. And you say, as you can see, I'm just scrolling down. These are all for AO7. And I think there are 100 lines there. And currently, the last time I used it, it was pretty pretty close to being uh, zero beat at 146.5. So you can see I'm pretty low in frequency. Uh, to get zero beat on the Doppler SQF file, then it's published uh, frequency of 432.150. That's how I set up my Doppler SQF files, and these are all saved in Notepad. You can edit them, copy and paste them into your SAT PC32 Doppler files, 
and you're all good to go. And I'll move over here to the satellite computer and show you what it's like on SAT PC32. Alright, this is my SAT PC32 program up and running. And where these files are stored in the program, let me zoom in here a little bit, don't mind the camera shake or movement. So you come up here to the little question mark, click on that, you'll get a pull down. Let's go on the question mark. You want to go to auxiliary files and doppler.sqf. When you open that, there's all the SAT PC32 uh, SQF files in the program itself. And like I said, what I do is I will uh, do all these files in Notepad. Once I have them all created, uh, save them on your hard drive, uh, in your C drive someplace where you know where it's at. Open the program, uh, open the SAT PC32 program, and go into the Doppler notepad here. And you can just basically copy from uh, the notepad that you edit in, highlight all everything that you want, copy and paste it over into the Doppler notepad in SAT PC32 itself, save it, and everything will be there for you. So as you can see, there's pretty much the same thing. There's AO7, AO27, which isn't too active anymore, and so on and so on. Now getting down to the Doppler spreadsheet, or the uh, Excel spreadsheet, I keep this running on the bottom of my screen. And you can see I have each satellite in there, AO7, AO27, 73, AO91, uh, I don't have AO92 in there right now, it's not really working very well, CAS 4A, 4B, EO88, etc. On your SAT PC32 program, you have these nice uh, letters here for each satellite and if you note if I want to go to EO88 that's letter cell G or letter G on my Excel program and it's also letter G in my satellite list I click on that It puts me on the U88. Don't mind the camera shake. All right, underneath my Doppler files, which you don't need to have open while you're running the program, working satellites, you can close that. Uh, what I have in this little notepad here is just a little thing I do for myself. I call it SAT predict or SAT PRED. Um, that information I gather every morning using Orbitron. I'll go in and predict the satellites for a 24 hour period, save it into uh, this notepad file, and put it up on my satellite screen. And I know what's coming and what the elevation is going to be and how long it's going to be there. Underneath that, uh, when you click on SAT PC32, there's a little f a menu up here called CAT. When you click on that, it's going to open up your CAT tuning window. And there you can see all the files for EO88. So EO88 has a center frequency of 435.025 but after using the satellite and making contacts I know that to be 0 beat on EO88 I gotta be at 435.029.7 so 
and I come over here click on that now let's adjust my radio to those frequencies and when I go to use the satellite I'll be very very close to being on frequency and zero beat if you find you're a little off one way or the other um, again up in frequency will make your voice lower and if you go down in frequency the tone of your voice will get higher takes a little time to to do all the SQF files uh, like I said to do that in in notepad uh, JO97 I just added last week again I had a center frequency of 435.108 or uh, 115 but I found to be right on I have to be at 108.55 uh, basically it's just trial and error uh, whenever a new satellite comes along and you enter the frequencies to where you think you're close I always uh, enter 15 20 25 30 lines above and below what that center frequency is and then I just listen to the satellite when it's passing over try and make contact or, or throw out your call and test and just click those Doppler lines in your cat tuning screen until you get close and sometimes you may have to add more lines go back into your your notepad your Doppler files uh, add more lines copy and paste them back into sat PC 32 so uh, until, until you get to you find where you're very very close or right on so takes a little bit of work um, but once you get it set up it's very very simple click the cat line or click the line of Doppler you need in your cat tuning and there's no need for RIT or uh, using the sub in makes it very easy very simple and like I said just take a few minutes create something like I have here in Excel or you could do it in Word print it out lay it in front of your machine in front of your radio whatever so just so you have a list of where those center frequencies are for each satellite and each time they come around you should be pretty close to being right on and you'll make contacts so if you have any questions uh, feel free to email email me I'm good on qrz.com and I hope you found the video helpful like and subscribe I don't do a lot of videos but uh, like I said I've been asked uh, quite a few times through email how I do it and I just thought I'd put a little video together and try and explain it so have a great day 7-3's catch you on the birds NA1SA